Hey guys, it's Courtney and I'm going to talk to you today about my first day of school. Um, that was yesterday and I was way too tired last night to make a video so I'm making it now. And um, so I'll just kind of give you a rundown of what went on I guess and what I experienced. Um, so the first thing we had was like 7 o'clock yesterday morning we had a continental breakfast that the school put out for us which was delicious um, and then my first class started at 8 a.m. and went to 1050 and that was um, it's like a cultural awareness class it was about caring for patients from different cultures um, it seems like it's gonna be a pretty fun class so I had that and then the second class was at noon and that was foundations and that went to 2.30, 2.20, something like that. Um, and basically after that I had my health assessment class and then that got out at 5.20 and after that I was done for the day. So in my cultural awareness class we talked about obviously caring for patients from different cultures and one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to present different sides of therapeutic and non-therapeutic conversation with patients. I guess like um, if say someone of Asian descent or that's from Asia comes to your facility to be treated, you have to come up with therapeutic and non-therapeutic ways um, that a conversation would work between them. Basically like what not to say and an example of good conversation with that person um, and their beliefs. And then my foundations class, we basically talked about the hospitals that we would be at and we filled out a lot of paperwork and um, I filled out paperwork for three hospitals in the area and then the fourth one was a hospital but it was a VA hospital so it requires like 20 pages of information that we have to fill out and um, we talked about in there uh, safety and a little bit about infection control and then in my health assessment class we talked about doing interviews about basically subjective data subjective data and then um, today we just started on neuro so we kind of led up to neuro yesterday and then we kind of just transitioned into that so so far not having the books is working well for me um, I have my digital copies of my books on my laptop that I bought from Elsevier and next to that I've got my notes in the middle on, the, on my laptop, this is all on my laptop, is my PowerPoint presentation so I can see what they're talking about and then I can pull up the corresponding text in the book and then copy and paste into my notes or copy an illustration or something like that. So that's what I've been doing and it's working pretty well so far. Um, this class only lasts seven weeks, these classes. So it seems like it's going to be pretty fast paced, but I feel like it's a decent pace. Um, so we have a test tomorrow in medical math and medical terminology, and this is that test. <laughs> These are flashcards for the test. There's like 500 here. Um, I made those yesterday and a few of them on Sunday because we already had some of our information. So there's that and then Thursday we have clinical in our simulation lab and we start checkoffs. So we're going to get checked off between 
Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to get checked off on all of our skills from our our rubric that they've put forward because we're transitioning to starting to work at the hospital already. We've been in class two days. So hopefully by the end of next week they're talking about having, having everyone done with what they need to get done with. Um, our skills that we're doing are bioscience, which everyone has done before because everyone in the class is a CNA, and sterile gloving, falls precautions, seizure precautions, suction setup, which kind of goes hand in hand with seizure precautions, um, and female catheter, male catheter, sterile wound dressing change, and I think that's it for right now. Yeah, so that's what we have to get checked off on. Um, and it's set up kind of different. We actually have a few days that we can get checked off on it. Um, the first day is going to be, first two days, is going to be Thursday and Friday. And technically that's our mock check off, but if we pass, then we don't have to do it later. Like that counts as our um, as our checkup, which is awesome. So there's that, and then um, that's basically what we've done this week so far. I did have to pick up another book. Um, it's a lab manual, and <clears throat> I also had to buy some videos from Elsevier. So that's pretty much all I've been doing this week. So I'm really excited. I'm going to try to vlog again on Thursday, either right after or before I go to clinical on Friday and maybe um, show you guys the simulation lab because I think you'll really enjoy it. So on Thursday and Friday, there's two different sections in our class. They've split us up into like 12 and 12. I know I said that they were going to do like 8 and 8, but the class was a little bit more than that, so we're 12 and 12. And um, they are arranged so that on Thursday, we go in at 7 a.m. and the other section goes in at 3 p.m., 2 p.m. And then on Friday, we flip-flop. They'll go in at 7 a.m. and we go in at 2 p.m. So. I don't have to get up every day at 7 a.m., which I'm super excited about, or actually way before that. I'll have to be up at 6, I think. So I'm transitioning still from night shift, and it's been rough. <laughs> I've literally slept all day yesterday after I got home. So I woke up maybe for like an hour to eat dinner and then went back to bed. I made a few flashcards after dinner, but that was pretty much it. So. Right now, I'm just going to study for my test tomorrow. Actually, I may make a vlog tomorrow after my test. I'll tell you guys what that was like. Um, so if you guys have any questions, leave them below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe as well. And see you guys later. Bye.